Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome to another Your Army episode today on Boxing Day. So very happy Boxing Day. I hope you had a great Christmas. Uh, I was able to talk to some of you guys on Amigo, see your presents and everything, and that was absolutely awesome. So thank you for that. Don't forget, if you got a new tablet of any sort, make sure you check out three of my apps. Uh, my link is in the description. Use that. Give me a little Christmas present uh, and also get yourself some easy free gems. They've got some really, really cool stuff going on over this weekend that will get you some free gems really quickly. So I suggest checking that out. And before we get started in this episode i also want to say i want to be doing a q a very soon uh for the end of the new year so down the bottom in the comment section put hashtag ask of and ask me any question about anything in the world uh and yeah that'll be awesome anyway what is going on in your army what has been going on we've got quite a few things to go over today first of all as you can see our elixir is bulging we've got a lot of gold as well and we've got some christmas trees so we need to remove some of these presents and open up the presents and see what we get we get 5,000 elixir, 5,000 elixir, 5,000 elixir, 5,000 elixir, 5,000 elixir, and 10, oh no, 5,000 elixir, yeah, we only get uh, 5,000 elixir in each of these, it'd be pretty cool if they had different stuff in different ones, some of them you got gems, some of them you got gold, uh, but in every single one you get elixir, so let's open up all our presents, I haven't decided what I'm going to be doing with these trees yet, whether I'm going to keep them uh, or remove them, but I'm sure we'll be able to figure that out soon enough. So there we go. We've opened up all our presents from Santa Clash. Thank you, Santa Clash, for giving us uh, a few thousand elixir. <coughs> To be honest, they're not the best presents ever, but, you know, they'll, they'll do. So we've got a lot of elixir today, and we're going to be spending it on some stuff. Our builders are free and ready, but we actually don't have too much stuff to upgrade that doesn't cost an absolute fortune. We've got this gold mine. Oh, we've got some barbarians. Uh, we've got this elixir pump that could be upgraded as well, which costs gold. Uh, and otherwise, we actually don't have loads to upgrade. Lots of our defenses are already fully upgraded and maxed out for this town hall. And... I'm trying to even see what we have that could be upgraded. Right, I'm sure I have some things, but I'm probably just not clicking on them. Uh, so we've got these, like, arch towers that we can upgrade, so let's upgrade that. We can upgrade our wizard tower one more time. Uh, should we do that, or shall we see if we have any more stuff to upgrade? Can we upgrade this? No, we can't. Can we upgrade this one? Nope. Don't think so. Uh, so it looks like we literally only have that to upgrade uh, and some other little bits. We've got this, which will cost elixir. So let's get that going. That costs quite a lot of elixir as well. Uh, we've got one more builder. But before we do that, let's remove this gem box, get us some gems. So hopefully we can skip troops uh, for a live raid this video. Uh, and we'll get that going. We also want to make sure we research a troop. Now, recently I've been using the heal spell quite a lot. So I kind of want to upgrade that. But the wizards are obviously very good as well. Uh, you know what? Heal spell it is. We're going to upgrade our heal spell, which is only going to take us a day. And there we go. We've used quite a lot of our gems there. Uh, sorry, gems. Sorry, quite a lot of our elixir. So we're going to try and finish off these walls. I don't know uh, if we're going to be able to finish them off today. We might be able to. Let's see how far we can get. Uh, if I select the row, can we upgrade them all? Yes, we can. There we go. We selected that whole row. We've been upgrade We've upgraded this whole central area to gold. We've now got this outside bit and these ones around the outside here as well. But we're not going to go do that. We've got a couple of raids to watch. We've got a couple of defenses to watch. And we've also got to go over our defense and see how we're going to upgrade our defense to stop people attacking. You can see people have attacked. They haven't been able to take loads and loads of loot. Um, this was probably the best attack I've seen on my base in, actu in quite a while. So let's see how he does it, where he comes from, and how much loot he takes. So he starts off with some troops trying to take out the town hall there on the right-hand side. He's rocking giants, barbarians, archers, and a few wall breakers. Luring out my clan castle troops, which are giants, which aren't amazing. Oh, they actually stand. They stand behind the presence. They, like, have the presence go inside them. Uh, I'm going to zoom out just in case they attack when my giants are over there. There we go. Okay. So he's gone for an attack on my giants. <clears throat> They're being taken down by the archers here that are trying to take out the town hall. But he's making sure he takes out that town hall. Now, the thing with this base is there's actually quite a bit of loot in everything. The collectors have quite a lot of loot and so uh, do the storages. So no matter what you're attacking really, you're probably going to get a lot of loot from it. So it's a really good base to attack uh, from an attacking front. And let's see how we go. So in come some archers around the outside to start taking out the outside buildings. All of the giants are thrown in together and they're taken over there to uh, that arch tower that's on the outside. Wall breakers come in, break it open so that they get lured into the center there with the, where the air defense is. He follows them in with a load of barbarians, which personally I wouldn't have done. Uh, because the mortar and the wizard are obviously going to go for the giants and they will hit the barbarians. But all the giants are starting to fall, they're starting to crumble, but the archers are able to move up. And as you can see, they're starting to hit at our loot. We've got over 500,000 
uh, worth of loot here, and they're able to take quite a bit of it, but we defended most of it very, very well. So this is why I was saying uh, my defense is actually pretty good at the moment. I don't know if there's much we need to change. I really don't. I think we just need to upgrade our defenses a little bit uh, and also use our collectors a bit more because, as you can see, there was quite a bit left in them. But being Christmas, we don't have time to use our collectors. So uh, maybe maybe this was just, just a one-off that he took a bit of loot. And overall, our base is pretty good. So there's a nice defense to show you. Uh, we were still left with loads of our loot that he wasn't able to take. Let's go watch a couple of attacks because obviously this is where the money is made. And as you can see, I've had some good ones recently. This is a 100% and a about 150,000 worth of loot. I throw out my giants to start off with. Uh, I have some wall breakers as well that I throw in the center. Uh, but I believe they get taken out. No, they don't. They actually take out the wall. Wow. Uh, so in come my barbarians. I spawn some stuff. Um, I know, oh, sorry, I thought I spawned some stuff on the outside. I spawned my barbarians, followed by the archers, and they just start pushing. I throw in a heal spell right in the center there, because that's right in the core, where the barbarians run into. Just so the mortars don't take them out really nicely. Uh, and as you can see, that heal spell works an absolute treat. Keeps my troops nice and healed, allows them to push forward and take out that town hall. The mortars don't do too much damage, and happy go Larry. We are going straight through this base tearing it up literally taking everything out we've got so many troops in the center here all of them have nice health thanks to that heal spell they start pushing forward getting the final bit of loot uh, that's from the storages there and then onto the collectors which has quite a bit of loot in it as well and boom there we go so we did have some buildings around the outside we took the one at the top we've got some at the bottom here uh, you can see around the outside it's one of those annoying bases that it just takes a little bit more time because they have stuff around the outside but as you can see a very very successful raid indeed uh, able to take the loot and get a lovely three star. So this is a raid that I just did. Uh, how long ago? Uh, 12 minutes ago. So pretty recent. Uh, I just had a barbarians and archers. Just had a classic barge set up. And that's all I needed. I only needed a barge to take this guy's loot. So it was a quite a nice amount of loot. It was all in the collectors around the outside. You can see we've got the elixir pumps down the bottom here. We've got the gold mines that are slightly more protected. So I had to throw in a few more troops at the top. Um, to make sure that the archers can shoot over and take out those gold mines. But like I said, a very successful raid. And then I kind of just throw everything in. I'm like, once I get the loot like this, I just throw everybody in and hope for the best. And see if we can go forward and get a uh, star at least. And I'm happy to say we are able to get the star. We're able to take it down, get the 50%. And my troops did actually pretty well. They got most of the loot. Uh, sorry, actually, I'm going to say they got all the loot. They got all the loot and they were taken down. This guy is from Clan Springmore. So, yeah, awesome. And there we go. We don't need to watch all of that because I literally let the last archers do whatever they wanted. So we're going to go and do a live raid. We have nearly got our army camps full, but we just got that gem box, don't forget. So we are now able to use some gems that we earned from the gem box. Let's just remove that tree and get that. And let us gem up some troops. So how many troops can we gem up? Um, oh, not many. Okay, that's, that's, that's a good thing, I guess. Because now we don't have to use as many gems. So, let's go out and do a live raid on somebody and see if we can find some loot here on Boxing Day. Hopefully there is. It was a really good start initially. That was the first and only base I've searched for today. Uh, but it looks like it's going a little bit downhill for the live recording. It always seems to do this. Come on, give me triple figures. Give me 100k gold. Oh, nearly 100k elixir. That's tempting. But come on, we can find something a little bit better. Come on, come on, give me something a little bit better. To be honest, I think I want more gold than elixir, just so that I can do the walls. But then again, I can do the walls with elixir. So I guess it doesn't really matter. You know what? We'll just attack the next base that has uh, near, near 100k of one of the resources. 4,000? Seriously, I'm never going to touch that one. 5,000 overall that one had. 69,000, giggity. Come on. Show me the loot. Please. Clash Santa. Clash Santa. Oh, maybe because he's taking a break because Christmas, I think, is over across the world now. Nobody is left in Christmas time right at this moment. Uh, so Clash Santa is taking a break and he's not giving us any loot. So we're literally, we're going to have to take a base like this uh, and get 65,000. That's, uh, that's all right, I guess. That, that'll do. So let's spawn in, first of all, our giants. Uh, ah, they got clan castle troops. Didn't even think about that. Recently, nobody's had clan castle troops, so I haven't even had to worry about it. Uh, so when they do have clan castle troops, I'm like, oh yeah, I completely forgot. People can actually have clan castle troops. So let's just throw all our guys in. Let's throw the wall breakers in. La 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 la. We're not really paying attention. <laughs> There's not loads of loot to be had. Uh, but we want to get in. We want to see if we can three-star this base. That would be quite nice to be able to take it down. Get a three-star. I'm going to put a heal spell right there next to the wizard tower so everybody stays nice and healed up. 
And I think that's worked a treat, actually, because the Barbarians are able to push forward, take down the Wizard Tower, which they are doing. Go on, take it down. Take it down. Yes, just before the heal spell ended as well. And we are now pushing through to the final uh, space of the base. Oh, space for the base. Uh, final space of the base and taking it down. Thank you very much, Andre SX69 from HTC Polska. I guess that's a Polish. Polish clan and a Polish player. I think Polska's Polish, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't speak Polish, but I think it is anyway. There we go. We got a, uh, a little bit of loot from that. Uh, that gives us some more loot to play with so we can see. Can we upgrade? Ooh, we can. We can upgrade all of those walls. Can we upgrade all of these walls? Um, we might be able to. Let's have a look. We might be able to. Yes, we got all of these ones. So we can probably get all of the outside ones gone. But I don't think we're going to... No, we're not going to be able to get the inside ones done because we can't pay with Elixir yet, which is super, super annoying. So there we are, guys. Uh, loads of you have been asking what happens when you remove a Christmas tree. So I'm going to remove a Christmas tree because I don't want this... Ma oh, no! I haven't got enough gold. Oh, I really wanted to end on doing that. You know what? We had j those gems from the gem box. Let's just use it to see what it is. Here goes a Christmas tree, guys. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully it would, oh, imagine if it gave us like 100 gems, that would be nice, especially on our no gems account. It's so hard not buying gems. You want to upgrade some stuff, but no. Come on, let's do this. Let's count down together, everybody. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 75,000. That was not worth it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like down below and also comment any Q&A stuff you have for me. But until next time, thank you for watching. Peace out.